Good morning, baseball fans, and welcome back to Dan's Vintage Baseball PC. Uh, don't be fooled by the fancy name. It's just me and some baseball cards. But in the case of today's episode, it will be about a photograph, specifically that photograph right there. If you've watched any of my prior episodes, uh, you may have wondered what that photograph is. Uh, you know, maybe it was a family photo or something, but um, let me show you a little close up here. And the photograph, as you can see, let's see if I can get a bigger version of it here. There we go. There's um, Mickey Mantle in the center of the photograph. Uh, and I wanted to talk about this uh, unique photograph. It is an original. It is signed by the photographer on the front and on the back. Uh, and we'll talk about the photographer a little bit later. But I wanted to just say the five W's here, the who, what, where, when, and why of this photograph. Um, the Who is uh, six members of the New York Yankees on the left and uh, a number of non-Yankees, <laughs> civilians, so to speak, uh, on the right. Um, so let's start on the far left. Uh, the gentleman uh, in the light suit all the way on the left is Bill Moose Scourin, was a Yankee first baseman for quite a number of years, came up in 54, uh, was traded to the Dodgers in 63. Uh, got World Series rings with the Yankees in 56, 58, 61, and 62. Traded to the Dodgers in 63 and won a ring with the Dodgers right away. Uh, he was an all-star power hitter, uh, not a Hall of Famer, but certainly an um, excellent baseball player. Finished his career out with a number of teams into the late 60s. Next to him is Eddie Lopat. Steady Eddie Lopat was a left-handed pitcher for the Yankees from the late 40s to the mid-50s. Uh, won five World Series win rings with the Yankees, was released in mid-1955 and signed with Baltimore. And we'll get back to that a little bit later. Next to him is Hall of Famer Whitey Ford. Uh, Mr. Ford is there in the light uh, white shirt, short sleeves. Whitey Ford is, of course, Hall of Famer, won 236 games with the Yankees, pitched from 1950 until 1967. Next to him is backup catcher Charlie Silvera. Charlie Silvera was with the Yankees for a number of years. Won a couple of rings. Didn't play very frequently because the Yankees had another catcher at the time by the name of Yogi Berra. Uh, next to him, uh, in the middle, the gentleman right to the right of Mantle is Joe Collins. Joe Collins was a first baseman for the Yankees for 10 seasons. I believe he won five World Series rings with the Yankees. Um, and, of course, in the center is the one and only Mickey Mantle. Now, there are also civilians in this photo. The gentleman uh, on the far right, uh, who is the most prominent person in the photograph in the white jacket, is named Jim Barnes. Uh, did a little sleuthing on Jim Barnes. Looks like he was a um, businessman, a uh, prominent businessman in Baltimore in the 1950s. To his right is a gentleman by the name of Frank Sansati. I don't know anything about Frank Sansati other than the rumor was that he was a member of the mob, but uh, I couldn't find any confirmation of that one way or the other. So we'll just let Mr. Sansati uh, live in peace. Uh, next to him is, uh, you can see her face in between Mantle's head and Sansati's head, is a young woman by the name of Frances Schiparelli. Uh, she is the daughter of the owner of this restaurant. She married a rival restaurant owner, Louis Schiparelli, in 1952. And um, next to her uh, would be her mother. This is Emma Machioka. Emma Machioka was known as Mama, and she was the owner of this Roma restaurant where this picture was taken. The owner of Roma from the mid-40s until 1976 when she passed away. The restaurant was actually established in 1923 by Mama's father, Giovannicio Babuski. So this was old school Italian restaurant right in the heart of Little Italy. Roma restaurant was on High and Fawn Streets on the corner in uh, in the Little Italy section of Baltimore. And like I said, it was a restaurant from 1923 until 1980 or 88 or 89. The um, photograph was taken, the when part of this uh, is, the photograph was taken either 54 or 55. And if you look on the far left, that's Moose Scourin, who was a rookie in 1954. Uh, and to his left 
is Eddie Lopat, who played with the Yankees until mid-1955 when he was released and then signed with Baltimore. Uh, and then that was the end of his career. So this is either 54 or 55. I have a theory uh, that this was perhaps Yankees coming to play Baltimore uh, after Lopat had joined that team and his old ex-teammates taken him out to dinner. That's a possibility. Uh, the Yankees did play twice uh, in Baltimore in 1955 after Lopat was a member of the Orioles. So that is a possibility. I don't know that for sure. Now, um, the Roma restaurant, let me see if I can pull that up right here. Roma restaurant, you can see in this photograph, uh, classic photograph from, I guess this is the 40s or 50s, based on the cars. Uh, this photograph was taken by Thomas Silipodi. Silipodi was a prominent photographer in Baltimore, and I'll get into him a little bit later, but he took this photo, and he also took this photo. So... Uh, this is a baseball card channel, so of course I PC all the members of this uh, team of Yankees in the restaurant. That's Moose Scarron in the upper left, 1956 tops. Charlie Silvera, uh, 1955 tops. Um, PSA seven. Bought that off of uh, my slabs for about twenty bucks. Uh, to the bottom left is Eddie Lopat's 1952 Bowman. I bought that card ungraded, submitted to CSG, and they came back with the six. It looks terrific. Uh, I'll get back to the Ford card in a second. That's Joe Collins in his 1953 tops with a beautiful red color behind him. And, of course, on the far right is 1954 Mickey Mantle uh, Bowman. I purchased that at the Philly show in, I believe, 21. And bought it raw, uh, submitted it to um, SGC, and it came back with the one. There are some creases but overall presents really nicely for a one. Now that Whitey Ford card, I'll show you a little bit of a close-up on this one. This card is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, Whitey Ford's career is a little odd. He has he made his first appearance in 1950, um, and then he ended up going into the service and missing 51 and 52. So he has a 51 Bowman card, which is his rookie. He has a 51 Burke Ross card rookie card um and then he does not have a card in either bowman or tops in 52 and of course tops didn't uh, exist in 50 but they did in 53 and that beautiful 53 whitey ford would be his first tops card and uh so it's i guess you could call it his tops rookie and i acquired that card in a cash and trade deal uh for a modern autograph which to me is exactly how i want to conduct my trades move things I don't collect for things that I definitely collect. It's a PSA 4, presents really nicely. So I um, wanted to talk a little bit about Mr. Cipollotti, uh, Cilipodi, sorry. Uh, Mr. Cilipodi was a photographer in Baltimore for decades. Um, in a few years ago, he did an interview with a bunch of Baltimore newspapers when he was 90 years old. He had been taking photographs in Baltimore since uh, for, for seven decades. Uh, including this photograph of President Kennedy in Baltimore, and of course the two we saw before, that beautiful photograph of um, of the street that Rome is on, and of course the Yankee photograph. Uh, Roma Restaurant is no longer in existence. Uh, as I said before, it lasted until the late 1980s. Um, it would it be, if it was still open today, it would be the oldest um, Italian restaurant in Baltimore. And... Um, it was closed in the late 1980s and the fixtures were sold and this photograph uh, was purchased um, by a collector and now it's made its way into my hands. I want to thank my Twitter friend, Glenn, who I purchased this from uh, in a uh, cash and trade and also want to thank Leighton Shelton who gave me a uh, abundant amount of advice with regard to this photograph. Uh, its value and why it's so unique and um, basically caused me to pull the trigger and purchase this. Uh, so that's the uh, the mantle photo, which is over my right shoulder and will be in every episode. Uh, we'll have, as you can see, I got a mantle run over here, uh, which we'll have on a future episode. But for now, um, that's the original mantle photo. And thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.